There is nothing that frightens the seafaring men of Thorvala, not even the dragons. Fearsome, fire-breathing beasts they harness like the horses they feed them. From the creator of Realms of Arcania, and the producer of Planescape Torment, and the writer of the Jason Dark Ghost Hunter series, comes a new role-playing game, a new vision, Thor Valor. So Vala is actually a concept that I've been toying with for quite some time. It's been, you know, going around my head for many, many, many years. And it is this concept where we use a high fantasy setting uh, that in a way that people are familiar with, but spicing it up with uh, other familiar elements that are based in the real world. So if you take a look at the title, Thorvala, and the imagery that we're using currently, it all has a very strong Nordic touch, and that is deliberate. That is really to immediately create a connection with the player so that people are familiar with it and know what they're getting into. At the same time, the world itself consists of much more than that, so it's not just Vikings and dragons. We also have cultures that are tribal people, for example, a lot like Native Americans. And we also explore cultures that are resembling, let's say, Asian cultures, very colorful, rich, varied, diversified, and altogether that makes up the world, the game world that we're going to use. So as you travel through the world and adventure uh, through the different locations and all that, you will be confronted with all different cultures, all different elements, and hopefully that will make it very exciting, very interesting, and keep the whole thing fresh. Any game that's worth its salt should have dragons in it, right? At least I think so. And as such, Thorvala will have plenty of dragons. They are some of the key ingredients of the entire story, of the entire world. Um, they're like the Air Force in the game. And people of Thorvala actually harness dragons so that they can ride them, ride them into battle, ride them for excursions, for uh, reconnaissance. And they befriend the dragons, they sort of domesticate them even. I wouldn't call the game old school. Uh, it's a term that I think has been overused a lot lately. I'd rather call what we're trying to do traditional. Because we're using traditional game elements, we're using traditional role-playing elements to create something that people understand, that people can immediately identify with, but we'll also open it up and add new game mechanics, new things that people can uh, try out, new approaches to the overall game system. And hopefully that will keep the familiarity intact so that people can immediately jump in and feel this is an RPG, this is a traditional style RPG, but there's something unique, something fresh about it. One of the games people constantly ask me about is Planescape Torment, which was a really dark, mature game uh, designed for mature audiences because the thematics that we were exploring were really uh, grown up in many ways. And in Thorvala, I want to do kind of the same thing, maybe not as dark as Planescape Torment, but I definitely want to create a setting where people are treated like adults. No, it's going to be a world that is real in many ways. You know, there will be real existing problems, there will be real conflict, there will be different factions with different groups, uh, with different interests, and they will have issues with each other, and the player will get thrown into the middle of it. I've been making games for a very long time, almost 30 years in fact, and you know, I pulled out of the games industry some time ago because I never had the impression anymore that I could do the kinds of games I really wanted to do or in the way that I wanted to do them. With Kickstarter, all of that has changed a lot. You know, Kickstarter turned the table and put the power into the hands of the creators. Instead, we can really take our own game, our own ideas into our own hands and shape it the way we want to with the help of the fans. And that's the great part about it. All the backers of this Kickstarter campaign will have a direct line of communication with us so that they can tell us what they think. When we design the game, when we develop the game, 
yeah, there will be a constant flow of information. We will have blog updates, we will have videos, there will be chats, everything. And as a result, you know, people constantly see how the game shapes up. When design decisions are being made, you know, we can share the process. We can tell people this is why we do it a certain way and not the other way around. Or if there's doubt, we can always ask. We can go to the fans and say, what do you think about that? What would you do? And I think that's a very powerful tool. That's the best thing that has happened to the games industry in a long, long time. And it finally, just, uh, it finally convinced me to go back and say, yes, I'm ready to make another game. So thanks for checking out this project. I hope you like what you see. Uh, we're definitely excited to make a really cool product and hopefully you will join us on this journey and help make Thorvala a reality. So up the irons and get ready for Thorvala.